Hello YouTube, this is Theron Ng. Today's topic, learn English with Toy Story 4, part 1. Whoa! It's raining cats and dogs out there! I hope they make it back alright! Heads up! Andy's coming! <gasps> yes! I'm starving! Number 1, make it. At the very beginning of the movie, it's raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs is an expression that means raining heavily, like this. The toys in the house are waiting for some toy friend to come home. Jesse, the cowgirl, says, I hope they make it back alright. What Jesse says actually shows that they're pretty worried. The phrase make it is an idiom and it has several meanings. The first meaning is to survive or successfully deal with difficulty. Let's take a look at the example. He has just had a heart attack. The doctor said he could make it. Heart attack is a serious medical condition, medical emergency that may cause death. But for some reason, the patient is likely to be okay. Perhaps the patient got lucky, or the patient is physically strong, then the doctor said he's likely to recover. He will be fine, he's not going to die. Another meaning of the phrase is to arrive without being late. An example, the meeting starts in two minutes. I don't think he can make it. The room for the meeting must be very far away. Even if he runs as fast as he can, there is no way he can arrive in the room in 2 minutes. It's not possible that he can make it. He will be late for sure. What Jesse is saying here is that she hopes that they make it back alright. She hopes that they will not be late. For those of you who are not familiar with the Toy Story series, you may wonder why not being late is so important. In front of humans, toys need to pretend that they're not alive. When the humans go to work or go to school, toys have their own free time to have their little adventures outside of the house. But they need to be back before the humans come home, so their kids can play with them after school. Number 2. Starve Shortly after Andy comes home, his mother, Mrs. Davis, says, Andy, time for dinner. Andy seems pretty excited. Andy says, Yes, I'm starving. So why is Andy so excited? The word starve means feel weak or die because you're very hungry. So simply put, it means very, very hungry. An example would be, I know you're starving, but you still have to eat slowly. When people are very, very hungry, they tend to eat faster than usual. So it's actually very dangerous to eat fast. You may choke. And it's also not good for your digestion. So the word starve means very, very hungry. Then how about the words for very, very thirsty? The word is parched. Let's take a look at the example. He drinks extremely fast. I think he must be parched. Same as eating very fast when you're very, very hungry, when you're starving. People tend to drink very fast when they're parched, when they're very, very thirsty. Do you see him? No. Well, he's done for. He'll be lost forever! Jesse, Buzz, Slink, Molly's room. The rest of you, stay put. Number 3. Done for While Andy is still having dinner, the toys got more worried because a toy is still missing. 
And Slinky Dog is being a little bit negative here, a little bit pessimistic. He says, well, he's done for. The phrase done for means in a bad situation that is very difficult to get out. Like the boy in the picture. That little boy is done for. The snake will kill him. The snake is a pretty big and strong one. And the boy is not going anywhere. There is no chance he can escape. The boy is done for. He will probably become the snake's dinner tonight. Number 4. Stay put. Woody and his toy friends are in Andy's room, and they can't see if their friend is coming or not there. So they need to go to Molly's room to get a better view. To do that, they need to be very quick and quiet to avoid being seen by humans. Woody is kind of the commander of the toys, so he gives orders to make sure things go smoothly. Only Jesse, Buzz, Slink, and Woody are going to Molly's room. They have about the rest of the toys. Woody asks them to stay put. The phrase stay put is an idiom. It means remain where you are, often because there is danger outside. An example would be, stay put son, there are tigers and lions out there in the forest. The baby monkey is probably too small to leave his parents and survive in the woods by itself. I know this is a little strange, but you gotta trust me on this. Forky is the most important toy to Bonnie right now. Important? He's a spork. Yes, yeah, I know, but this spork, this toy is crucial to Bonnie getting adjusted to kindergarten. Oh. Woody, aren't you being a little dramatic about all this? Number 5. Crucial. Wendy's new kid, Bonnie, is about to enter kindergarten, but on the orientation day, Bonnie has trouble making friends. To help her feel more comfortable, Woody helps her make a toy which is a spork, a combination of spoon and fork, and Bonnie likes spork very much. Woody brings spork home and introduces him to everyone. Woody says spork is crucial to Bonnie getting adjusted to kindergarten. It's crucial for Bonnie to get used to her new school life. So what does the word crucial mean? The word crucial means very, very important, decisively important. Let's take a look at this example. Reducing air pollution is crucial to stopping global warming. Global warming means the surface temperature on Earth rises every year, and air pollution is one of the main causes. Number 6. Dramatic After Woody describes Spork as crucial, meaning very, very important, the other toys don't quite believe it. The reason is probably Spork is a very simple toy, not very well designed. Dolly is quite surprised. She asks, Woody, aren't you being a little dramatic about all of this? So what does Dolly mean exactly? The word dramatic means exaggerated in order to get people's attention. Example, Carrie's aunt cheered all night simply because Carrie passed her exam. That's a bit too dramatic. Passing an exam is of course something to celebrate, but cheering all night for hours, that's a bit too much. I know you weren't around when Andy was little, but I don't remember it being this hard. I'll keep an eye on Forky. No, no. I need to do this. That little voice inside me would never leave me alone if I gave up. Who do you think it is? Uh, me? You know, my conscience? Number 7. Conscience In Toy Story movies, Woody is a toy who loves his kids very, very much. He knows that Bonnie loves Sporky, but Sporky wants to leave Bonnie for freedom. So Woody stays awake to make sure Sparky doesn't try to escape. Woody tells Buzz that the reason why he does this is because there is a little voice inside him. And then Buzz asks Woody whose voice that is. Woody replies, it's my conscience. 
Conscience is the part of you that makes you feel bad when you do bad things. Example: She got hurt because of me. My conscience is killing me. Some bad people, such as murderers, robbers, thieves, they don't have a conscience. That's why they keep doing bad things. They don't have a conscience, so they don't feel bad about hurting others. I have to get that toy from Gabby. Whoa! Steer clear of that weirdo. If I were you, I'd cut my losses and go home. But Bonnie needs him to get through kindergarten. Oh, kids lose toys every day. Bonnie will get over it. Number eight. Steer clear of. Although Woody tries very hard to keep Sparky around, Sparky still escapes successfully. Sparky is later captured by Gabby, a rather big doll. Woody can't get Sparky from Gabby alone, so Woody asks Bo Peep to help. When Woody tells Bo Peep his plan, Giggle describes him as a weirdo, meaning a very strange guy, and says, "Steer clear of that." So does Giggle agree or disagree? Steer clear of is originally a phrase used by sailors, meaning to change the direction of a ship. To avoid something, it has come to mean avoid or keep away from. Example: You got to steer clear of that area. It's not safe there. When you move to a new city, you probably have no idea which neighborhood is safe. It's better to ask locals to find out which area you should steer clear of, which area you should avoid, so you don't get yourself into trouble. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful, please smash the like button and share it on social media. I will also appreciate financial support through PayPal or Patreon. You can find my latest updates on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell icon. See you next time. Bye.